Hey, said the Romans. I feel like I need to write this down. Just... If only I had this when I was in high school. So today we're going to show you one of the most viral videos of the past week. Oh, cool. However, the video is over 20 minutes long, Jeez. so we're going to show you a cut down version of it. Okay, that works for me. Is it the history of everything? I haven't seen the whole thing, but it what, what I've seen I like. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I saw this on the trending tab. I feel like I've seen some version of this. Ago, I've seen the Japan ago, one, never, and I and fell in love now. with it. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. What? Makes sense, right? Oh, I paused it. I think there's a unicorn. All right, and now the acid is hitting me. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around, too, that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... I wish this was my science class. Yeah, it's so fast-paced. This is the craziest way I've ever seen, like, science presented ever. This is insane. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Well, this is clever animation. Interesting stuff. I like this. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now they're... These guys did their homework. And now everything's huge, including bugs. <laughs> everything's sure. huge now. Now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. There was like so much going on, I can't even like think right now. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. Oh. R.I.P. It's mammal time. That's a human person. The music is fantastic. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Coming soon. I love the and jingles. Valley near you. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. <laughs> New arrivals in India. And they wrote some hymns and mantras. If only I had this when I was in high school. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. <laughs> ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact <laughs> that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. I aspire to, to I aspire to be like that. Just Confucius sit under a tree so long and just forget that we're all dying. <laughs> Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Go with the flow. Do you obey the law? Hey, said the Romans. I feel like I need to write this down. Just Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was wondering when Jesus was going to show up. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. <laughs> Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. <laughs> Deep in the Arabian That intermission was of a mountain, very needed. God. Deep in the Arabian That intermission was not long enough? On the top of a mountain, the real God whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. How everyone long would it so take to make these town videos? Town to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire. I couldn't gone, watch this for 20 minutes. Somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. <laughs> oh, it was a In pun. A house, the Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Whoa! <laughs> Where did that come from? The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called oh, Spain. Christians are back. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. <laughs> Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back. Yay. <laughs> Time to show. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art oh, in the ancient classics. Art. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. So he sails into the Oh, ocean, we're about to head over to you. And then America. discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen in the Well, Caribbean. thank you, Brazil, for so making sugar. Probably. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving pressure... Why couldn't my school be like this? But all the classes I've skipped in history class is really hitting me right now. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. F*** you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. <laughs> 
my now god. France, France helps them win. Now France is broke. Uh -oh. Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? That's a good point. Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off. So That's the revolution. The French revolution. Cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit. No, don't. Maybe you're starting to like the idea of a Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. Oh my god, this is extremely fast paced. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, screaming oh the to rape at the fastest. They never got it. Except Ethiopia. That's true. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling Dang. to see who could rape it the fastest. Everybody attack Africa like that? Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. Wow, so great the war research war. for this. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model. And he's <laughs> angry mustache Jews. model. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War Two. Bonus That's round. World War II. Two. We just ran through World War Two. Bonus round. Pacific <laughs> I love the air horn. Japan. United States versus Japan. Fight. This is freaking awesome. Finish him. Let's unite Whoever did nation. this did a very, very good job. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which Space one is the race. virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight. Wait, no, Street that would be the end of the Fight. Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. <laughs> Let's spy on each other bombs. instead. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Okay, okay we're catching up. Which is in your pocket. Whoops, oh the just crashed. By the way, where the hell are we? I hope I mentioned everything. Wow, that was a good video. This is all you need before every history final. I'm curious to see what the 20 minute version is like because that was so much information so I could only imagine. It's kind of emotional. Like when you watch it all together like that, you're like, wow, a lot of stuff has happened on earth. I've been waiting so long to have like another video from this guy. Thank you for sharing this with me. So that video was called History of the Entire World, I guess, by creator Bill Wirtz. Dude, Bill did a good job. It's a cool video. This video got millions of views in its first day of being released and was number one on the trending page the day it uploaded. Why do you think this video went so viral? Why? I mean, it went viral because it, it's absolutely nuts. You gotta think about how long this guy took to make that video. It's so ridiculous. It's so like internet humor and it's, it's educational. It just like cuts out all of the stuff you don't, I guess, necessarily need to know. This is like super to the point highlights. His humor style is pretty unique, but it also is very internet to me. Good use of memes, I would say. Good me, good memeing. It hits the education and it hits the humor and it hit, like it literally makes the rounds really fast every few seconds. It was interesting to see how history kind of just repeats itself over and over again. And right now the world is extremely politically charged. Now with social media, not only are things happening as they always have, but we're all extremely aware. There's a comedic aspect to it, but he broke down the history of the world, which it's it's a lo it's long and complicated, let's be honest, but he simplified it. It's really good. I, I feel like I gotta go watch the rest of his videos. Does he have more videos? Or is that the only one? He does have more videos. Okay, time to start binge watching. As a kid, like you, you learn social studies and history, and it's such a dreaded course. Looking back at it, it's so simplified, and you understand like cause and effect way more, and it's fun, and it feels like you're on drugs, and you don't even have to take drugs. The way that he's telling it too, with comedy and all this stuff put together, it just keeps everything interesting. This is what they should teach at schools, and they should give this information to babies. A lot of people are saying that this would actually be helpful to show to students as a more interesting way to learn than say a traditional lecture. Do you think you can really learn from this? I think kids can learn from it. Honestly, teachers are showing kids YouTube videos now. If it was slowed down and, you know, targeted more specific things like more in depth, that could work. Just replace all of our educational systems with these videos. I learned more in two like 20 minute videos on his channel that I did in the entirety of my high school history. It's a really good review actually, because I remember in school they would show you those videos that were supposed to be a nice review and they were so boring that you just fall asleep in them. Anytime you can make anything fun, it's going to be much more, um, well it's gonna sink in because people actually pay attention. It almost creates an interest and an excitement to where it was almost like a touch point, to where like there were certain points where he mentioned something like this, I'm like, oh, I'm more interested about that. There's always ways to integrate what's happening on YouTube and online and on the internet into what's going on in the classroom. So finally, educational content has exploded on YouTube over the last several years, and here's an example of someone doing it in a very unique way and is starting to gain a huge following. What do you think about the edutainment side of YouTube? Oh, I'm... I'm a big fan of edutainment. Social media is like a huge thing right now and I feel like everybody should be leaning towards 
social media instead of just reading a big ass textbook you kind of watch a video and it, uh, people like will remember it more. If you ask anybody how they learn to video edit, how they learn to do this, how they learn to change a tire on a car, 99% of the time, what do they say? It's not school, it's YouTube. I follow a lot of channels um, that summarize a lot of con like history, science, all that stuff. This person is, is giving their own twist in their own words versus sounding like a textbook. So I think it has a lot of charm with information. When you can kind of tie the learning into the entertainment that's happening, I think then it's really a win-win situation because you're learning something plus you're being entertained by it. And it's a really great platform where you can really do that in a, in a very comprehensive way. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. If you want to be further edutained, check out the YouTubers in the description and give them a subscribe. Au revoir. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kyle, a producer here at FBE. And I'm Alyssa, an editor here at FBE. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we hope that this was the best goodbye in the history. The history. The history of the entire world. Whole world.